What is up guys, today we have a review of the new updated version of Oxygen OS 14 based on Android 14 for OnePlus 10 Pro. This phone is more than two years, was released more than two years ago, but still uh, supported by OnePlus. So let's have a look, the version of it, it's a global version, which is an E2213. Uh, and um, it's a model name and the version name is 14.00900x1. So what we have here, let's check it out. We have integrated the July 2024 Android security patch to enhance system security. So let's update actually all the time. They uh, update this patch here. So basically some, nothing new. Optimize power consumption to extend battery life. So that's good and it's working. So I use it already for several weeks and my power consumption increased by 10-15% uh, around like this in my main scenario. So even by this, I already recommend you to update in case you have previous versions. Although they fixed an issue that might cause delay swipe response in simple mode, I don't use simple mode, and fixes an issue where auto brightness might turn on automatically. So usually my auto brightness is here, turn on, turn off. So actually it's always turned on, that's why I don't really care about auto brightness. But it actually turned on automatically in case you don't use it, so I use it for me, it's nothing special here. Uh, let's check whether another update available. I think it's the latest version for now. Version up to date. So what I've got here, I have 256 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes of RAM, plus eight extended storage here. Also quite convenient in OnePlus and OxygenOS system. You can use RAM expansion and expand from four to 12 gigabytes. So I have around 20 gigabytes of RAM in one of plus a 10 Pro again, which is from 2022, released so with this such an old device, you can have such a huge amount of RAM. Also, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 here installed, quite old but still reliable processor here, the screen size 7.6 inches and the cameras, you can see here the megapixel 3 cameras and one front camera. Okay, let's check one by one what we have here. First, let's start from Wi-Fi, let's check all the settings that are available. You have more settings here, you have Wi-Fi status, you can show bandwidth label, Wi-Fi version number, also Wi-Fi status, a display with cover, safe networks I will not open, Wi-Fi data usage can be here and usage by apps, you can install certificates and Wi-Fi direct also can be available, you can connect to your TV or any other device. Uh, also, with Wi-Fi, what you have in OxygenOS 14 is a Wi-Fi assistant, so here you have how to connect to the best Wi-Fi, how to switch to mobile network and dual Wi-Fi acceleration here. Uh, this allows you to connect to two Wi-Fi networks at the same time for fast internet connection, so it's quite convenient if you have uh, maybe your phone sharing plus your uh, home Wi-Fi, which is not that fast, both of them, so you need two of them and not all the apps supported but as you see apps like telegram whatsapp and youtube support this option okay let's move on with the mobile network i will skip bluetooth so i have Huawei watch here connected and what you can do is display codec standards change the name that's it actually not much settings connection and share so you have airplane mode personal hotspot vpn nfc private dns android auto multi-screen connection that is Actually, okay, you need to accept. It's actually when you have another OnePlus device, such as tablet, you can share your screen on one another. NFC, private DNS, Android Auto, so you can use apps on your car display. Multi-screen connection I showed you already. Link to Windows, I don't use it, but maybe you need it because I have MacBook. Uh, screencast, you can just uh, show your screen on your TV or any other device print and quick connect, so nothing special here. Wallpapers and style, so of course you will always have some new wallpapers with updates. Always on display also quite many options are available here for always on. Um, icons, as you see quite many of them. Uh, you can customize it, you can increase the font here, show app names, also you can have many of the uh, icon selections here, item settings, you can adopt the system colors even. 
in US you have similar option and now it's in a beta as well so you can do it on your phone it's quite nice to have such option of customization although you can change the colors wallpaper colors featured colors and see how it will look like quick settings available also here it is you can add the tiles, customize the tiles, and do whatever you want here. But on the two tiles, you will have a big one. All the other will be smaller. Also, the volume and brightness is available here. And I just put the, the tiles that I'm using. Uh, fingerprint animation can be different. So I have a bubble. You can select what you like. Edge lightning. I don't use it personally, so just disabled. Home screen, lock screen. So here all the regular settings, not much new. Uh, all the settings from previous one, the clock style, you have two as previously as before. Lock screen shortcuts you can select by yourself, recent tasks and no updates for this part. Display brightness, so as always, uh, dark mode, light mode, auto brightness, eye comfort, natural tone display. Actually, that's nice. Why it's not active, I don't know, but it's not showing. So just so you can select the screen mode, why with natural pro modes also available and screen temperature as well. High comfort from 21 works for colors only. And when it's turned off, you can also select at seven at the morning. Image sharpener, video color boost, bright uh, HDR video mode, all disabled to save the battery life. Uh, here also standard resolution refresh rate you can select here also for app specific refresh rate I put almost everywhere 90 is more than enough but it will also save your battery uh, full screen apps will not cover nothing else here uh, sound and vibration so here vibration intensity is added so you can select separately for call cell and alarm message and notification also do not disturb mode available uh, and app specific volume here you can select it or no so when you change the volume you can select for each app it will be here and you can change the volume separately i don't need it sound of everything is available dolby atmos special audio actually just automatically working i don't use it haptic feedback also can be selected you can select gentle or crisp system haptics you can select the haptics intensity and it's showing you to you how to work and it works well and you feel it really premium when it's in your hands and together with sound combination works well uh, all right app security location i don't know what to cover here for location wi-fi scanning bluetooth scanning okay bluetooth scanning you don't really need because it's using the battery um Safety and emergency, you can add the emergency contacts here. Battery, as I mentioned to you, the battery is improving, so you have smart charging here. Power saving mode, so it will be, you can select the limitation, also default optimization here available. And power saving mode, reverse wireless charge and wireless charging settings, charging limit and even more options here to optimize your sleep standby or activate the high performance. Uh, Special features, so here we have split view, so display two apps at once for either multitasking, you have floating window, quick launch, smart sidebar, kids mode, simple mode, basically all that was available before. Digital well-being will not cover, additional settings, just regular settings, nothing really special, system services also available, gesture motions, you can have much more modification on OnePlus comparing to other Android devices. Um, okay, so all the others, it's nothing to cover anymore. What to tell you about this version, about the uh, newest update. It works really fine and I really recommend you to update as it's really good option currently in uh, August, end of August 2024. That works perfectly, they finally fix all the issues that were available before and now I think it's best update out of the last half a year for OnePlus. So it works perfectly, fixes all the bugs here and really recommend to update. All right, basically that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching, put the thumbs up and see you next time.